Welcome to our lecture online. So now we're going to graph an equation, a quadratic equation, therefore we're looking for a parabola, and we're going to use the method where we find the vertex and the y-intercept. And of course, once you find the vertex, you also find the axis of symmetry. We know that the vertex, to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, is equal to minus b over 2a. So, and that's of course also the equation for the axis of symmetry. So x sub v equals minus b over 2a, which is equal to minus b, in this case b is minus 12, divided by 2 times a, which is 3. So this becomes 12 over 6, which is equal to 2. So that's the x-coordinate of the vertex. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, y sub v, we simply plug that value into our original equation. So that's 3 times 2 squared, minus 12 times 2, and plus 15. So this is equal to 4 times 3, which is 12, minus 24, plus 15. That's minus 12 plus 15, which is positive 3, which means that the vertex, the vertex is equal to the x-coordinate, right here is 2, and the y-coordinate is 3, 2 and 3. Let's find that point, x equals 2, y equals 3, which is right about there. Now we can also draw the axis of symmetry, because the axis of symmetry, x right here, x is equal to 2, and so that means we can draw a vertical line parallel to the y-axis, and there is the line where x is equal to 2. Now of course we need to figure out if the problem opens upward or downward, Notice since A is positive, we know the parabola opens upward. We also see a 3 in front of the x squared, that means that the parabola is going to be kind of skinny. And C represents the place where the graph will cross the y-axis, the y-intercept. And that's going to happen at y equals 15. Then of course, since we're 2 to the left, of our axis of symmetry. If we go 2 to the right of our axis of symmetry, where x is equal to 4, then we also will have the value of y equals 15. So essentially, we can now begin to gra graph the line, the curve, there we go, and there we go. There is the parabola represented by the equation y equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 15. Again, a quick review. We found the x and y coordinates of the vertex, which was 2 and 3. There's a vertex. We knew that the parabola opened upward. We knew it was going to be skinny because there's a 3 in front of the x squared. We can also find the y-intercept, which is at y equals 15, which is 2 units to the left of the axis of symmetry, which means if we go 2 units to the right from 2 to 4, then we also have a y-value equal to 15 as well because we have that perfect symmetry about the axis of symmetry. And that's how you graph an equation that looks like that. I like your technique where you find that other point on the other side. Oh, my God. <laughs>